Uh oh, zombie dog treat. All right. One second, let me fire up the zombie dog treat machine. zombie dog <laughs> oh scrobot kicked it off hype train incoming how did the 10 subs not kick off the hype train that seems weird weird or did it we're jumped up to level 3 Oh, needs three people. Three different events. <clears throat> Been a while since I looked at the details on that. <clears throat> garment closures. Let's practice garment closures. As I get my cursor back in the right window here. Gas mask to breath mints plus three. I can no longer see well enough. Activate permanent marker, an item, gas mask, it's a label, breath, mints, plus three, there we go. Uh-oh. Ran out of something. We got the tailoring to 2 and 64%. Um, good old uh, short strings again. Yeah. All right, there we go. Stop practicing, yes. Tailoring. What are we up to? Making short ropes out of cotton patches? Four hours and 39? That might work. That's pretty much my only choice right now. That's rough. Lack of... Lack of books. With this list seems weird now. Uh, synthetic fabrics, Leica, yarn, cotton. Yeah, now we're down. We're getting into the weird stuff. More and more things have been uh, switched over to the new processes with all the proficiencies so it's not as easy to find recipes you can just easily throw together and we're getting into the, the, the leather section I don't mind doing this one Time is it though? 2100, not tired yet. Yeah, we're gonna have to get on the move here pretty soon. I'm gonna run out of food. Um.
What did we get to? 63%. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to put one more day in, then we're out of here. Still need to put on some pounds. We gotta go find some better food, higher uh, satiety level. You mean Delta V rings of Saturn? Yep, I'm aware of Delta V rings of Saturn. I have an icon on my desktop for it, but I haven't looked at it yet. Yep, I'm aware. <clears throat> Who was it? Splattercat? I think Splattercat just did a, another video on it. Alright, what are we at? Tailoring 4. Can we get to five? Uh-oh, we're all out of level... F I got no level four recipes that I actually have parts for. Yeah, I haven't been picking up leather patches. I don't have an all. Hmm.
Uh, sure. I haven't picked up anything leather. We might be stuck with uh, where we're at on tailoring until I grab some leather. I haven't been picking anything up specifically. We'll have to go raiding some more houses. Actually, we've got... <clears throat> Was that sports car here or at the uh, plant just north? Hey, Mr. Zombie Soldier. Let's see. Bastard. I got 11 dodge and you still tag me? <laughs> no damage. Uh, well, I need to get the mace out for this one, which I just dropped the mace. Damn it. I done it wrong. bring me oh yeah <laughs> worth it no military ID card okay we got a grenade Uh, what I was saying, though, is I think the... Oh, nope, that's the luxury car. We got uh, leather seats on the luxury car. Go take uh, some seats out. over to my little workshop area. <laughs> I brought, brought a manhole cover with me too. Crap. I wasn't intending to bring that. Now I gotta sort more stuff out. Uh, let's see. Put maze away. Disassemble. Other seat. Disassemble. All right, that got us some leather. Thirty six. Now, we want to make sure we've got our music going, have a few snacks. Want something nice and long. That's... Not a good, not a good set of choices here. Six leather patches, thread, string. All right, we get all that in quantity. Three hours per. I don't think we're gonna make enough level off of it. Just one of them. That's too many. If we fail too often, yeah, we're gonna have to go with that one. Let's see how we do. Have buttons now? Sure, use a button. 
What does listening to music do? Uh, it passively raises your morale. So your morale is modified by things like listening to music and enjoying food. So I ate some tasty food. I'm playing my MP3 player, which has an effect on my morale, which then has an effect on focus, which is based on morale. Focus, having high focus is good. I have low focus because we just finished practicing or crafting. Focus is an XP multiplier. So if you have 100 focus, you get 100% XP. If you have 16 focus like I currently have, I'm only getting 16% of the XP that this practice would normally provide. So it's uh, pretty much the main way of trying to maintain your focus is just trying to keep your morale up. All right, oh, candle's about dead. Continue. We got to oof, only 27%. Ouch. And how far along are we? Ugh, that's going to take four or five, six of these things. That's going to take quite a while. That's what I worried about. There are things you can do with uh, cash, credit cards, and so on, but I, I don't do anything with NPCs. I avoid NPCs every chance I get, so most of this stuff is interactions with NPCs. Other than that, it's really just vending machines to buy some food, candy type stuff, snacks and drinks out of, and a single cash card will cover you on that regard for quite a long time. So I don't generally mess with all that stuff too much. But you can go to a bank and uh, deposit cash to put on a credit card and then use that at various locations. You don't need uh, credit cards for gas pumps. All the gas pumps will work without using a credit card. Been that way for a while. I haven't used a credit card on a gas pump in forever. <laughs> yep. Or don't deal with that stuff. Go to the bank and uh, lose your money paying off your your debt from the previous world. <clears throat> oh, what do I want to do here? I think... I think we're going to move on. I'm not going to keep pushing this. We got to tailoring four. I was hoping to get to five, but I don't want to spend another two days just getting that level done. Um, I want to go get some more stuff and uh, not spend the entire stream just sitting here at this little base. So I think we'll get a night's sleep and we'll take off in the morning. We'll load up our, our modified quad and uh, go do some adventuring. So towards that end... Go ahead and turn off the MP3 player. And uh, we'll just exercise until I'm sleepy. Mm. I really don't want to exercise. It's keeping my weight down. Oh, yeah, they used to take credit cards, certain ones, not all of them, but the automated gas stations out in the uh, the wilderness areas that you would come across <clears throat> that just had the pumps and a vending machine and kind of a fenced off area. Those did used to take or require credit cards, but they haven't in quite a while. I think there was some kind of bug with that whole system and they turned it off or something. But you're not misremembering. It just hasn't been a thing for a while. Maybe I'll try to sleep without exercising. Oops. Just not tired enough.
<laughs> Fine, I'll exercise. This mean I'm gonna have to abandon my clean water. I think this means I'm gonna have to abandon my clean water. <clears throat> it wouldn't let me put this in the uh, the vehicle without spilling. Yeah, that's how we got it here is carrying it, but I don't want to be carrying it when I'm driving around and might be getting into exciting circumstances. And I can do it, but <clears throat> and dropping it is a free action, but that's that's a little weird and rough. I mean it's super convenient. Um if there was still more to explore in the close area, I would just go out and do that. We got a radio station right there. We might be able to get to, if it's not uh, wasp infested, to get a good look around. Other than that, I'd have to go traveling quite a bit. I'd rather just keep moving once I get traveling. I could pull another 60 liter tank, fill the tank up with some of the water and just take that. Or multiple six liter tanks. It's what, like 240 water? So I think two six liter tanks would uh, transport most of the water. <clears throat> Could grab two of those. All right, aquarium's empty. That's much more convenient. Those I can just toss in cargo spaces. We got plenty of space. Let's go knock a tree down with a crowbar. <laughs>
Nah, we better sort this out first. What's well, not going? Um, you're not going. Alright, I think that's all I care about. <clears throat> Plastic button! I have no space to carry the heavy crowbar. It's too big. Hmm. All right, guess I'll stick with the other one. All right, vehicle. 7.7 <clears throat> liters of gas. That'll be plenty to get us to any other gas we need. I guess I can, since I'm probably not gonna come back here. Should just grab the gas out of these other working vehicles. Yeah, I guess isn't really going to be an issue, so... This thing's crazy fuel efficient. <clears throat> yeah. I guess we have the jerry can. We'll go ahead and fill up. Crow. <laughs> Ooh. 
1911. A little more convoluted than I needed it to be, but I wanted the synthetic fibers from the backpacks. Twenty-six. That is a lot of traveling. <clears throat> so we're we're good. Uh, let's see. Keep keep itch. But we're still at, uh, ooh, look at that. <clears throat> Ouch. <laughs> we might have to put a different engine in this thing. <clears throat> so we dropped from like 100 and something and 100% off-road to 58 safe and 58% off-road. That's because we've probably doubled or tripled the weight <laughs> with the tanks and... Uh, all the cargo spaces and all the crap I put in it. So, another thing we haven't done yet. I'm not sure I'm going to bother. Is uh, dissecting. You finish dissecting the corpse, you carefully record the creature's vulnerabilities. <clears throat> you harvest stuff. Oh, MRE. So, oops, we're getting hot. We learned... Principles of biology, 10%. An ossified exoskeleton. <laughs> Principles of biology. That fat zombie's gonna come wandering over here. Oh, only fourteen percent now. Hmm. I don't remember doing any previously. However, so I need to take some time to dissect some corpses so we can try to get that uh, principles of biology completed. Too many fat zombies. Sad I'm leaving all these working vehicles behind. Macaroni and marinara. Feeling very good. Normal weight. <clears throat> yeah, we gotta fix that. Time to start hitting the uh, maple syrup, I think. <clears throat> hey, fat zombie.
All right, where are we going? I'm going north. I think I'm going to try to make it up to that rare that radio tower. We got some uh, some some endpoints up this direction. We'll see what we see, then we might turn around and come back another way. But that's as good a direction as any. Got to remember to keep an eye out for scooters and motorcycles. See if we can get that part replaced for our quad. Then we need to put a V12 in here. <laughs> quad bike with a V12 diesel. Coming through, zombies, coming through. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're gonna get hit by a rock, or two. We're going to get dazed by the screamer. We might run into somebody. There's the first rock. Alright, now we should be in the clear. Hey! There's the one somebody was talking about earlier. The Dissolute Devourer! Human bodies fused together into a colossus with heads and limbs sticking out of its bloated body nature of the thing makes it difficult to estimate how close it is to dying and its capabilities might change if it manages to assimilate more zombies into itself so like i said <laughs> it hides its health and it uh sucks in zombies and gets a little bit stronger each time not terribly hard to kill though you just gotta fight smart fight smart fight s smart <clears throat> run dear run all right, so we do have an access point through here to get us out this way, which might get us to that road or even around this direction. But we're going to go up here, see what we can see, if we can get to them, and then we'll hit the radio station depending on how things go. Nah, it doesn't have Super Punch or Necro or anything like that. It just gets a little faster, it hits a little harder, things like that. It doesn't gain any new super abilities. Yeah, let's go check back this way first. Hmm. I don't really need a hardware store, I don't think. The one with the cargo truck. There's uh, 5,000 nails. Always good to have a decent supply of nails. I wouldn't mind beating up a couple of cops. Um, hmm. I have to use the mace on them. I don't think my kick power is going to get through their armor. Let's go with go with the C4. Ooh, 8.7. 8.7. 8.7. What? 
8.7. I got a little bit of pain, a little bit of heat. Why am I at 8.7? I'm going to have to do some investigating. 8.7 is not acceptable. Yep, there's a moose. It's listed right here. Moose. <clears throat> you can also see the little compass indicator. For enemies you know about, it puts them on the compass indicator. So, moose to the southeast. So, he's one of these down here. Moose are not inherently hostile anymore. So, that zombie is going to try to hit the moose, and the moose is going to stomp him flat. It used to be that if anything damaged an animal, it would go insane hostile to everything, regardless. But now they've changed it, so... Yeah, we're not playing no hope. Yeah, this is not good dodge. <laughs> Beretta, Beretta M9, Kevlar vest, combat boots. ER-24 baton, we'll definitely grab that. Grab the batteries, and I'll grab the Kevlar vest. Nah, the moose haven't been terrors of CDA in a while. Most of the animals will avoid you, unless they're the zombified or mutated versions. No need to yell at moose anymore or anything like that. They're only hostile. Them and bears both are only hostile at very specific times and seasons. So, they haven't really been a danger for years. <clears throat> The uh, thousands of different mutated enemies, on the other hand, <laughs> they are still a big problem to worry about. Uh, end up too close to it. I'm going to get more attention while I try to back this up to get some gas. Yeah, now too many things can see me. Should have stayed up north. Unless Mr. Moose is going to take care of them all for me. He's not quite close enough for that. Big old pile of nails should settle me for a while for those. <laughs> Gas forge. Gas forge. There's a jackhammer. Gas forge and a gas jackhammer. It's pretty much what I was hoping. The, the jackhammer, not the gas forge. Um, 71 pounds, huh? Let's go wield the jackhammer.
No space for the gas forge. space. Alright, well we got a gas forge and a jackhammer. What's the uh what's the gas forge run on? Don't say gas. What specifically does it run on? Gas fueled metalworking forge. Is it literally just gasoline? Paddle magazines, form factors, gas tank. So if I say refill gas forge, I need a compatible magazine. Uh, mm, hmm. I don't remember seeing anything that looked like it's going to go with that. So, yeah, it looks like the, the moose is taking care of business. <laughs> How you doing, Mr. Moose? Oh, not going to be around much longer. Roller skates. Uh oh. I haven't uh I haven't considered the roller skates, roller blades possibilities for this character yet. Butane or propane. Alright, we'll keep on the lookout. What else we got in the area? Uh nothing else I'm willing to go visit right now. Well, that's not what I was hoping to find over here. I'm not going to bother going to the LMOE. There's not going to be anything there in the loot tables that are really going to be worth the trip. Barrel mechanics. left a window open for me.
Uh oh. Well, I haven't seen this in a really long time. Been ages. Ages and ages. <laughs> No, it's a survivor basement. It's been a long time since I got this basement. Let's see if it's occupied. I don't have my MP3 player going right. <laughs> I'm not hearing anything yet, so it might be unoccupied. Sounding unoccupied. We got soy sauce. Unoccupied and pretty much empty. We'll take the canned chicken and the clam chowders, I guess. Red a PX4 storm with lots of ammo. All right, well that's it. Not too exciting when there's nobody in here and it's mostly empty. We do have the loot set at 50%. So, all right. Well, it's good to see you again, basement. <laughs> it's been been quite a while since we got your version. And another atomic? Really? I can't believe we've got a second atomic that easy. The tailoring basement? That's the tailoring basement. Well, now, of course, we get the tailoring basement. All the things I need. <laughs> Even some leather pants I can take apart. I think it's funny they don't provide leather parts. You got cotton, you got thread, you got lycra, you got synthetic fabric, Kevlar thread, but no leather. Just leather. So many of the things p players want to make are just leather, <laughs> and they don't give you any leather components. What's up with that? Chemistry set? Sure. Um, we'll have to carry that out. Another tool off the list. More leather pants. Hmm, 
right, what are we going to take out of here? Tender's kit. Uh, I mean, sure, some zippers, some buttons. I don't know what I'm going to need. <clears throat> Squirrel! Hmm. Uh, missile silos are not empty. There are reasons to go to a missile silo. Has a weapons locker. I mean, it's not like it used to be, but there's still a weapons locker there with usually tons of ammo. Depending on your luck. <clears throat> Other than that, there's not much reason to go there. Um, I'm not sure what else I want to try to take. E colon tailoring. What do the what do the lists look like? So thread, no mix, leather patches. It's still gonna be mostly leather patches. We've got enough fasteners and buttons for pretty much anything now. Cotton sheets. Looking like cotton sheets is about the only other thing on the list. <clears throat> 